And the poll has revealed a lot about where Montanans stand on the races and issues they'll soon be voting on. But we also asked some other questions to learn how voters feel about the job those already in office are doing, plus the direction the country is headed in. MTN's Russ Rissinger digs deeper into those numbers. 2,000 Montana voters participated in our MTN MSU poll. One of the questions we asked is whether they approve or disapprove of the way our elected politicians are handling their jobs. And here's what we found out. President Trump won Montana by a landslide and still enjoys wide popularity among Republicans. In fact, he's got the highest approval rate of any of our politicians. I am thrilled to be back in big sky country with so many of my great friends and true American patriots. Thank you. 55% of voters we polled say they approve of the way the president is handling his job. 44% disapprove. Democratic Governor Steve Bullock had the second highest approval rating, 54%, while 35% disapproved of the job the governor is doing. Very respectable numbers in a red state. Republican Senator Steve Daines fared well. Daines had a 53% approval rating and the lowest disapproval rating at 31%. Congressman Greg Gianforti had the lowest approval rating at 48%. 42% disapprove of the job he's doing. But it was Democratic Senator John Tester who had the highest disapproval rating at 45%. Still, Tester has almost total support from Democrats and a big lead with independents. So what does, that, what does that mean? Well, it means this. Tester is doing well among those independents and it suggests that, that maybe the Trump coming to the state might actually help among that critical voting group. One issue that all voters we polled felt strongly about is illegal immigration, something Tester's opponent, Matt Rosendale, and other Republicans have been playing up. That is Rosendale's bid to basically try to peel off some Democrats and most importantly peel off independents. 62% of independents basically agree or strongly agree that legal immigration is a problem, and it's near universal among Republicans. We also asked voters whether they think the country is headed in the right direction. Almost all Republicans said it was, almost all Democrats said it was not. Independents are critical here because essentially 48% of independents say the country's going in the wrong direction. Again, a sign to me that there's dissatisfaction with the federal government. How that all plays out on election day remains to be seen, but it's clear that which way those independent voters end up going could have a big impact on who comes out on top. I'm Russ Riesiger, MTN News.